Okay, so every pre-flight, a Mustang tube as well as a midget Mustang, you need to grab the tip of the vertical fin, the tip of the horizontal stabilizer, and squeeze them together. Midget Mustang, there'll be a little bit of flex, but the main thing is you're checking to see if there's a difference in flex at any point in time. If there's a change, something's wrong. You need to take off the cover plate here and inspect that transverse bulkhead in there, a little transverse bulkhead that's holding the fin rear spar on. The other thing, especially in the Midget Mustang with the old style uh, elevator control horn assemblies that don't have the three bolts attaching to the plate, you need to check for any slop between the two elevators. There shouldn't be any slop between the two elevators. Um, you know, likewise, you could be checking for these hinge points out here have uh, occasionally cracked out for people that have uh, binding in their elevators. Over time, they'll crack out. So you can check that a little bit in pre flight. One more important thing. The other important thing, of course, is the landing gear. You know, look for any changes in the landing gear, the torque tubes, the way the airplane's sitting on the ground. And uh, those are the two main, two main things every pre-flight. The other thing that I usually do then too is also check the aileron counterweights. Make sure that uh, to pull up aileron, grab the counterweight, and pull both up and make sure there's no flex in the counterweight. Make sure the counterweight's on there secure. Main points in a pre-flight for a Mustang 2 or Midget Mustang.